Marjorie Proctor Smith suggests that one of the ways that we choose is to remember that the Bible is filled with so much good. It's also filled with stories, ideas, words, and concepts, which can cause great harm, which moves the Bible into the realm of both and. The Bible does good and the Bible does harm. Yeah, maybe I should rephrase that. The Bible doesn't. <laughs> People use the Bible in ways that do good and cause harm. So when it comes to choosing, it's not as easy as either you believe the Bible or you don't. It's not as easy as either you follow or you don't. Not as easy as either you're a Christian or you're not. Either you follow the Christian God or you don't. That's the realm of either or. Either or is easy. Both and, not so much. And this actually brings us right back to where our series started. The both and. The Bible does good. The Bible causes harm. Our series began with the, by talking about the Chinese ideogram for truth, which reminds us if we want to know the truth, we must gather with 10 different sets of eyes around a table. If we want to know the truth, we must consider 10 different perspectives. That's not quick or easy. That's not either or stop. That's both and. And that's not just a Chinese concept. It's also the truth about Jesus. One of our first lessons was to look at the word truth as it was used in the Aramaic language. Aramaic being the mother tongue of Jesus. The word truth in Aramaic is made up of three letters. The first letter of the Aramaic alphabet, the middle, and the last letter. Which is a way of saying, if you, we want to know the truth, we must consider the entire story. We must dig into the whole context. Which means that choosing this day who we will serve involves being familiar with our own beliefs, our own thoughts, our own upbringings, as well as considering Wilda Gaffney's perspective and taking seriously Proctor Smith's challenge. It is a multi-layered, multi-faceted, complex, slow, messy process, which makes me wonder about Joshua's directive it makes me question the use of that word daily. Choose this day who you're following, said Joshua. And I don't think that that has to be a once and for all. Choose today or else. I don't think it's like that. I think Joshua's alluding to a daily practice. Because here's what I know about me, about my context. I am easily and quickly blown off course. I frequently change direction. I know and I believe and I trust that God is still speaking. And that change is a natural, normal, and creative process. Every single day, I have to pay attention to which God I am following. Every day, I have to check myself to make sure I am not following the God of war or the God of condemnation or the God that marginalizes, silences, abuses, demeans, or enslaves. Now, you may not have to. 
I have to check myself. I have to choose daily. Because I choose to follow the God of life giving liberation which leads to salvation.